hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel in today's video i tried out the watercolor method on my 613 wig and as you guys can see i love the results i was really feeling myself so if you all want to see how i got this color using that watercolor method then just keep watching Today's video is sponsored by Hair Spills. They sent me over some Peruvian Body Wave 613 hair. It is 22 inches long, and as you guys can see, it comes in this really pretty pink packaging. Like, I'm so obsessed with it. And this is basically how the unit looks right here. So for the hair dye today, I'm using some from Creative Image and I got this from my local hair store. I got two bottles of Aquamarine and then one bottle of Emerald. So I start out with this container of hot water. You guys can probably still see the steam coming off of it. And I pour about half of the bottle of aquamarine into the water. I wanted to start with just a little bit of dye because I didn't want to add too much too fast. And then I just take this black plastic spoon and just give the water a swirl just to ensure that the dye is well distributed throughout the water. At that point, I decided to go ahead and add in a little bit of that emerald color. And when I say a little bit, y'all, I mean just a little bit. I was too scared. And also, emerald is coming across a bit greener than aquamarine. And I wanted this to be more turquoise than teal because teal does have a bit more green to it. So I just added a little bit of that second color. And then I just started stirring that around and just made sure that the colors were well mixed together. So at this point, I realized you guys couldn't really see the water and the color of the water that well. So I repositioned a little bit and put the container on the counter and I did put two trash bags underneath it. I also applied some gloves because these rinses will stain in your hands. I am very familiar with them. So I'm grabbing my unit and basically just throwing it into the water. So it does float so you do have to push it down in there and make sure you get it in there good because you want the dye to reach every strand of hair so make sure that you push that hair deep into the water so after about five minutes of letting it soak I pulled it out and as you guys could see it gave me this really nice like I like to call it a mermaid color but it wasn't quite what I wanted I wanted it to be a bit deeper than this and you can also see that it missed a few spots so I stuck it back into the water and I made sure this time to comb my fingers through the hair so that the water could get to all of the strands. At this point, I'm feeling like the water itself though is looking a little light. So I went ahead and pulled the unit out and added more dye. So I added the rest of that aquamarine color just because I knew that I wanted this hair to be super blue, really deep. So I just went for it. So now that the water is dark again, I just take my unit and add it back in. And this time I really work the water throughout the hair so that all of the strands won't still be blonde by the end of this process. So I got a little lazy y'all and instead of pulling the unit out, I decided to add some dye while the unit was in the water. I do not, do not recommend doing this because where I threw the dye in was near the front of the unit. You guys are gonna get to see when it dries down, it's gonna be a little darker in the front. It's not gonna be too noticeable because with it being the watercolor method, the entire unit is not gonna be the same shade anyway. It's going to be variations of this hair dye. With this process, the front being a little darker is going to be okay, but don't do that, you guys. Pull the unit out, mix your water up, do what you need to do. Don't be like me, okay? Don't be like me. So just adding in the dye while the hair was in the water, you guys can see it darkened up a lot. And I was finally starting to see the color that I was going for. Now I will say it wasn't as deep as I envisioned in my head, but it was deep enough, okay? But I felt like I still needed one more little dye job. So I went ahead and added in some more of that emerald. And then I opened up the second bottle of aquamarine and threw that in there. 
So I basically just started mixing those colors together and it's starting to kind of look like an ocean inside the container with like the foam at the top and stuff. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, so I dipped the unit in there one more again and I just press it down in there to make sure that the entire unit is being touched by the dye. I let it sit for about 10 minutes, watched a little TV and came back and you guys can see that it darkened up a whole, whole lot. And I was real happy, extremely happy about that. So at that point, I felt like it was time to pull this baby out, blow dry her and get her on my head. So you guys should see me wringing out the water here. And then I just set the wig in front of this container on top of those two trash bags. Now that the wig is out of the water, I just grab a detangling brush and brush it out. With it being swirled all around the water, it got a few tangles in it, but nothing that can't be combed out. And if you guys look closely, you can kind of see the streakiness of the blue. So it's not 100% one color. It is a variation, like I said, of the hair dyes that I used, but still really pretty. So at this point, you guys, I pull out Manakeisha. Manakeisha has been through some things. She got stuff all over her, but we love Manakeisha, so we're just gonna keep on rocking with her. So I put the unit on Manakeisha and I just brush it out one more time to get all the tangles out. This is the best way for me to detangle the unit because I can really, you know, get in there good and brush it out. And I also want to just look at the color one more time and also show you guys the color on camera. This is in my beauty room with the window open so you can imagine how it'll look out in the sun so blue so vibrant so pretty and then i just start blow drying this unit and you guys this is where everything went to crap for your girl okay apparently my blow dryer was smoking a little bit and i was standing right under the smoke detector and it started going off and this is the second time this week i didn't set the smoke detector off so i was in panic mode And after that, I just finished blow drying and straining the hair in my bathroom like a normal person. So now it is time to apply this watercolor unit. So I just put on this beige wig cap and grab my foundation shade and add it to the front of the stocking cap. And I went in and then set it with some Laura Mercier setting powder because the powder is amazing. And I got a little salty because I had powder on my jacket. So I pull out the unit and isn't she beautiful? I look like a Smurf, so cute, right? I know. And I'm just showing you guys what it looks like so this is the inside of the unit as you can see the lace is not blue praise the lord praise the lord it did not stain the lace at all and i was just so happy when i saw that i'm like this method is amazing i see why everyone and their mama is doing it so i put the wig on my head clipped it in flipped it around you guys know the jam once I got that applied or halfway applied, I went in with my beauty blender with the rest of that foundation on there and I just started tinting the lace with the foundation a little bit. So once I got the lace looking more like skin, I pulled it down a little bit and clipped the combs into place. I'm not necessarily a fan of gluing my wigs down because I do like to just snatch them off at night and dive into the bed. You guys, I'm a lazy girl, okay? But in this video, I am going to end up gluing this unit down, but I didn't do the stocking cap method. I told myself I was gonna either do one or the other. I was either gonna do the stocking cap method or not do the stocking cap method and, and just glue the wig down. So I went with the latter option. So regular stocking cap, just tinted with a little bit of foundation and I'm going to glue down the lace of the wig. So now you guys, I'm just brushing this hair out, getting it to, you know, go in the direction that I wanted to go. And it is just so beautiful. Like I'm so obsessed with the color. And if you guys notice in the front, it is a little bit darker than the rest of the unit, not too much darker, but it actually looks really pretty that way. So my mistake worked out perfectly. I mean, it really wasn't a mistake, but I still advise you guys not to just dump the hair dye on top of your unit like I did. So now I'm just going in and cutting off the lace, self-explanatory.
and at that point I'm taking some hair clips to pull the edge and perimeter of this wig back because I'm about to start the glue down process and today I am using I think this is ghost bond glue and it was my first time doing it you guys on camera in real time and I was I mean, I wasn't really nervous about it, but I knew that I had the ability to really F it up. So I took a baby wipe and I've been loving using baby wipes to take off my makeup. I know, crazy, right? So I am using the baby wipe to take off the makeup around the perimeter of my forehead, just because I see a lot of people do this. So I'm like, okay, Catherine, you should do it too. <laughs> so I'm just wiping off my makeup. And at that point, I just grab the ghost bond and start dotting it on the center part of my forehead. And I am going to work in sections. Since I've never used this product before, I just want to do a little bit at a time. So I'm taking the back end of my tweezers and just smoothing this out. So at this point, I'm just letting the glue dry down and it took about three to four minutes. Of course, if you use a blow dryer, it will go a lot faster. And once the glue was almost 100% clear, I just pulled down the lace on that unit and it took the end of my rat tail comb and just pressed the lace into the glue. And then I basically just repeated the same steps for both sides of my head. At this point, it was time to pluck the unit just a little bit. I didn't have to do too much. This unit from Hair Spells is one of the best that I've received in a really long time. So I just had to go back into the hair a little bit to even out that part. And then I went in with a little bit of blue eyeshadow because I wanted to add the illusion of it being a little fuller right there in the front. After doing that, you guys, it was time to add the baby hair. So I just combed out a little bit of the edges. And as you guys can see, Hair Spells units does have like shorter hair in the front that is meant to be your baby hair. So finding it and pulling it out was really easy for me. So I just took a small little section, took my razor braid, razor braid, razor blade that I use for my brows. And then I took a little bit of my got to be glue gel, the one in the black bottle. I always use this on my wigs to do the baby hair. It just works best for me. After that, I went around the hairline of the wig and just took out different little chunks of hair to create the illusion of baby hair. And then I just took my powder brush and brushed everything out to make sure that it was nice and sleek and smooth. And so that is the finished look, you guys. This turquoise blue smurf blue unit using the watercolor method. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there are any more colors you want me to try using the watercolor method, definitely leave it down below. Be sure to give me a thumbs up before you guys go. Thank you so much for your love and I will see you in my next video.